Hello guys, welcome to this new video. I am Manzoor Vani, the author of WP Telegram plugin. As I had previously promised that I will bring to you some cool new features in WP Telegram. So in this video I am going to show you something really cool. As you know, 2019 is around the corner. We have just one week left for it to arrive and we are excited to bring you a new version of WP Telegram. If you scroll a little bit up, you will see 2019 of WP Telegram. This version of the plugin has quite new and cool features which you would really love. So in this video I am going to show you what are those features. In fact I am going to teach you just one of them so let's get started before we move ahead let me tell you that if you don't know how to reach up to this part you can go ahead and check out my other videos that I have made before in which I showed you how you can send WordPress posts to telegram so let's dive in as you know that the message format on telegram is sent based on the message template that you define here so here you you can use these macros you can use emojis or you can use any text that you want for example let me add something here read full post here so if i save this and i have a post here which is a test post i have just created a dummy content here and if i hit update it should be sent to the channel and yes here it is so this is the title of the post this is the post excerpt and these are the categories and here we had inserted a tag but that is not there and here is the text and here is the url so in this version you will get rid of these ugly messages on telegram for example you can see this tag is missing here so it doesn't look really nice there so let's get rid of this so i have a few examples for you in the new plugin that i want to show you here that is the template logic that i had advertised about on the channel as well so you can also use conditional logic in the template so what is that let me explain to you real quick so it's basically composed of three blocks the first block that is the condition block second block is the consequence block and the third block is the alternative block so conditional block means a macro here so that means if a macro has a value then this value will be sent to the channel otherwise send this value so that's what it means so it means if true then this otherwise this this last block that is the alternative block is optional you can just leave it to remove to 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 return the empty text for that condition so let me show you some examples here that's the first example here is this you can see the first block second block and the third blocks third block is empty that means if there is a tag for the post then this will be sent otherwise nothing will be sent to the channel so let me copy this here and paste here in place of this when I save the changes and when I hit update here the post will go to the channel and the tag will be no more there I will further show you how we can do something more with it by removing those new lines here so I will show you 
in the end of the video so let me show you another example so here for example if you are running a WooCommerce store sometimes your product may be on sale and you would like to show the sale price of that product for example if you write a template for a WooCommerce product let's leave categories as they are sometimes you would like to write something like this you would add regular price and then you would add a dollar and you would add this here then you would add a sale price and just insert the sale price custom field when you save this and go back to a product page I have a test product here which is some dummy content so if I send this product to the channel let's see what happens so you can see there is regular price $1000 and there is no sale price and it looks really ugly here because we have not set a sale price if I set a sale price then it will definitely show up there in the message so here you go here is the sale price but when there is no sale price available for the product what you can do you can simply use something like this if sale price is not empty that means if sale price has a value then return this part otherwise return nothing let me copy this and paste it in place of sale price and as I told you the last part is optional so let's remove it and when I go back to the products page and hit update let us see what happens so yes sale price will be there now if I remove sale price now the product is not on sale let's see what happens I need to select a yes here then update now you can see there is no text called sale price so although these extra lines here look ugly I will show you at the end of the video how you can remove those lines but let's continue with a few more examples for example if sometimes you may have a coupon for a product so what you can do you can do something like this for example if you have a custom field called coupon or whatever its name is so it means that if there is a coupon show this otherwise show nothing so if I add this to the template let me edit to the template I can write for example like this and just hit save changes so currently there is nothing in the coupon field so if I just hit update there should be nothing on the channel related to coupon yes there is nothing on the coupon section now if I add something to the coupon let me write XYZ and hit the update again there should be the coupon coupon code here you see here is the coupon code so that's how conditional logic works let me show you one more example interesting example of the alternate block in these three examples there was no alternate block let me now show you how you can use the alternate block so in this example you can see here is the price now it means if there is a sale price then show that sale price otherwise show regular price that means if a product is on sale 
then the active price of that product will be the sale price so in that case return that price of the product so if i copy this and paste it in place of these two and save changes when i go back to the product page here is no sale price so it should now show price is thousand as we wrote in the template as you can see in the template here is price and it should show thousand dollars so when i hit update it should show the price is thousand dollars yes the price is thousand now if i add a sale price to the same product let me write 800 when i press update let's see if sale price is shown instead of the regular price yes you can see the price is now 800 that's how beautiful this conditional logic is now one more example for example sometimes you would like to add extra text inside these expressions inside these blocks so yes you can definitely do that so you can add any bit of text in the uh, consequence and the alternative block but you cannot add anything in the first block that's the condition block so the condition block should look exactly look like this if and then some macro and the closing uh, square bracket and in the alternate block and the consequence block you can add any text that you want to show on the telegram message so if i copy this and now paste this in place of the existing text then save changes now since there is a sale price available for the product so it should definitely show the discounted price for the product if i hit update let's see how it looks on the channel so yes it shows now the discounted price is eight thousand eight hundred dollars and if i remove the sale price from the product now it should simply show that the price is thousand dollars yes the price is thousand dollars before it was discounted price now it is simply the price so that is the beauty of the conditional logic now there is something that is really cool with these conditional blocks for how you can get rid of these new lines that extra lines that are there in the template for example here in the message template there are there's just one line in the in place of coupon so there is just this one line why there are two lines it's because sometimes for example if there is a value for a macro if there is no value for the macro here in the in, in, in the coupon coupon field then obviously it will not be displayed and it will occupy this line here so how you how to get rid of this these extra lines in the message so it's it's very simple you can add those new lines if you want something to be a new line you can add those new lines inside the consequence or the alternative block let me show you an example of this for example if there is a coupon let's remove this part let's only send the coupon as of now if i save changes and go back to product page if i remove the coupon here and update there should be an extra line yes you can see there is there are in fact two extra lines so what I can do to remove this extra line here there's a simple trick for that so add that new line to coupon and remove the line before it so when you do that you can in fact add a line afterwards it as well but that should be inside this block so this block comprises of a new line and then this text and then again a new line so it means that if there is a coupon 
there will be a line inserted after this and there will be this text and then again a new line and then rest of the text will be shown in the message template so I can rem remove this line as well so there should be just one line between each text line let's save changes and if I go back to the product page and I don't have anything there in the coupon if I hit update those extra lines should be gone yes there is no extra line as you can see here and here that makes the difference now if I add a coupon here and hit update the necessary lines should automatically be added to the template and it should look beautiful yes you can see the line there's a there's an extra line before it and an extra empty line after it that's how the blocks work in the conditional logic of the templates now you can understand how beautiful it is you can you can apply it on as many use cases as you want if you need any help you can directly contact us on this on our telegram support account we are ready to help you right away and it's available live on telegram anytime you want so i think that's all in this video i'm going to make more videos showing you the cool features of wp telegram and how you can exploit its bunch of features that you I, don't, I think you don't know about so I'm going to make more videos to teach you how you can use those features in the upcoming videos don't forget to give this plugin a rating if you like it and the link is right in the plugins page so give it a rating if you love it and I'm going to bring more videos to you soon till then bye bye